Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to yet another on-demand web scraping tutorial and this time I got an email from Hitchem Segni and he is asking for help regarding web, web scraping and he wants to scrape Qatar-based real estate properties from this link and what I asked him to specify what in particular he like uh, he says he needs uh, let, me, let me see uh, type price address description number of bathrooms number of uh, uh, bedrooms agency agency name and number of agency I'm not sure which one this in particular and image URL well uh, just perfect perfect request so let's basically start uh, let's have a look at the site uh, 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 the target site to scrape data from so well just they all are pretty similar basically regardless of country so i can see price uh title description bedrooms bathrooms okay so uh this uh, this seems to be like uh an agency and the url is okay and he also mentioned like if, if there there were uh many agencies uh, I'm not sure about that, but well, nevertheless, we'll just start making things and then we'll uh, uh, Just try to find to figure the things out uh, along the way. So I'm going to miss great tutorials GitHub repo being cloned to the local system and Let me just create a new folder and I call this uh, Qatar uh, properties uh, or maybe maybe just better the site name Qatar living okay Qatar living so Qatar living and okay and he's looking for I'm not sure is is this for rent or for sale mm, mm, bedrooms not really that sure mm. I have no idea. Uh, okay, per month, per month. So probably this is for for rent properties for rent. But well, I might be wrong, but still per month it seems like it's the properties for rent. Well, uh, doesn't matter basically. So let's create a file called Qatar Living dot pi and okay, open this with a text editor. Uh, also. Uh, he asked me to uh, I'm sorry I forgot the guy's name Hitchin apparently let me just quickly check that out again so he asked me to use scrapey framework which which is my favorite one and it's really uh, it, it really fits this kind of uh, tasks basically yeah Hitchin so Hitchin uh, I'll use scrapey framework just like you you've asked basically so well here we go basically so let me just quickly check the pagination so probably the only parameter would be appended here appended here okay like page just perfect okay so let me just grab the URL and if you're interested let's actually start writing some code so first we need to import some packages I say import scrapey and from scrapey import uh, I'm sorry from scrapey dot crawler import crawler process from scrapey dot selector import selector import URL lib to parse string query parameters and import JSON to pre frame the results uh, of, of the extracted data and the selector is needed to parse uh, uh, to, to avoid torturing the target site during uh, debugging the, the data extraction logic so uh, here we define the scraper class and I say class let's call this guitar 11 and it would inherit from the scrapey.spider which is the general purpose scrapey crawler we also need to provide the scraper name and name would be equal to let's call this Qatar living as well but not the same as the class name that's important otherwise it won't work 
let's also specify the base URL and base URL would be equal to this one. Okay, so we don't need the page like this. Okay. Uh, also, uh, probably we'll need to define some custom custom headers uh, just to provide the user agents. So I say headers equals and let me just go to the browser and pick up some so just inspect this page and go into the network tab and network okay well, basically we can use whatever element here so we need the user agent this one okay copy and here is let's say user agent would be equal to this one and well this is just enough for a while now let's provide the main driver here so i say if name equals sorry equals to main well in this case we need to say uh, run scraper and we create the process variable that would be the instance of the crawler process and same process dot crawl and provide the Qatar 11 scraper as an argument here so like this and also same process dot start to actually invoke our scraper okay now mm, okay what is this so let me just open the terminal in the current working directory. So by typing Python 3 Qatar 11.py, I am invoking the scraper and hope. Okay. Missing positional arguments. So I probably did. Okay, crawl process must to be <laughs> to call to create a constructor actually. Okay, now it seems working just perfectly well. Okay, so um, also we'll need some custom settings to define the crawling, uh, to, to define the output and if needed uh, the crawling speed and download down delay between, uh, between the requests, but uh, if that's not essentially needed uh, we can basically avoid doing that as well so i just want to check the robots.txt file in order to see uh if there are if there are any restrictions regarding the crawling of this site so uh, they ask for the crawl delay of 10 seconds well um, okay so we should uh, respect this policies basically so um, also this means that uh, they want to avoid the concurrent requests so um, let's also provide some custom settings in this case so let's say custom settings and custom settings would be equal to so first we need to specify the feed format uh, and we want to store this to csv i guess and also providing the feed uri and in this case let's call this the output file qatar 11csv and concurrent requests per domain uh, will make it equal to one so just to avoid torturing the site and finally down download delay would be equal to uh, 10 seconds respectively well i guess i guess this is it so let me just try to well if i run this it won't really show me anything but okay so mm, now let's define the crawler's entry points so we have a standard method called dev start requests which is the uh Crawler center point of from the of the scrape spider the base the base spider we are inheriting from so start request takes only the self argument and that's kind of it and now we need to provide now we need to crawl through all the pages uh, uh, over here basically so 
uh, we will be using the base URL and then URL lib URL encode method to actually parse this page number but before that we need actually to loop over the range of pages and I need just I just want to see how many pages here so it's kind of eight pages I, I guess is it eight or is, is here actually more than eight pages just want to check that out well probably not the most important part but okay it's very slaggy okay just let's close uh, page seven okay oh it has really lots of pages well uh, I guess well the user oh maybe let's just go to the very can you go to the very last one I'm, I'm wondering okay page 111 so 111 okay so this seems to be okay seems to be the very last page okay so just bear in mind this number and we say loop over page range and here we simply say just hold on a sec guys I need to give a little bit more space in my working area on the screen so here I say for a page in range from 0 to 111 like this uh, maybe maybe like this I guess and let's print first so uh, next page would be equal self dot base sorry self dot base URL plus and I'm using URL lib dot parse dot URL encode and page and stringify the page itself here save and I just want to print the next page to make sure that the links are generated appropriately okay this error just because we're not making any requests anymore okay so the last is page this one uh, so let's double check this again so the link should be literally the same so we get the response okay seems like it works okay let's try this one just just to make sure it kind of works okay so here page uh, uh, 107 but here it would be 108 I guess uh, okay it seems like it's still loading okay let's have a look let's have a look yeah 108 great well uh, so this is really nice now let's get back to the page number one because that's the one we're supposed to be extracting data from at least uh, debugging uh, our data extraction logic so here we say generate uh, next page URL and here uh, we actually need to crawl next page URL and in order to do this we need to say yield and scrapey dot request and the URL would be equal to the next page oh so don't forget to provide the headers which would be equal to self dot headers and also specify the callback function because scrape is used uh, is based on top uh, because scrape is using a twisted internet like brewery which is a non-blocking uh, non-blocking HTTP request library so self dot parse will call the callback method parse and also I just want to break uh, during the debugging process because we actually need to um, first store the response to the HTML file locally over here and then we'll make use of this code we'll, we'll remove the break when we want to, when we want to crawl the entire site so uh, parse response uh, and here we say def parse and the parse method would take the self instance uh, along with the response object so um, first let's actually try to well we don't actually need to print this but let's actually try to print so I call this response it will also be printed uh, within the debugging information but still just want to print the bare response to make sure it has the status code of 200s which is okay so unexpected argument 
Uh, okay, a little typo here. Save. Okay. So I hope the response would be just fine. Okay. Yeah, so response to 100, which is just, just great. Okay, uh, now uh, I'll write some code that will be used, uh, like say in the production version, if you call that that way, but it, it's needed for the debugging purposes. So here I say store uh, response to local HTML file, uh, and I say simply with open, and I call the file res.html and I want to write the uh, I'll write the file stream as file and I simply say app.write response.txt and if I run this again I hope to see the response.html uh, file appearing over here basically. Well this Qatar live in CSV is appearing just because we did uh, provide uh, this custom settings like Feed format and feed your rights empty for a while, so don't don't take it too close to heart at the moment. And okay, here is our response HTML. Uh, I try to open this. Yeah, seems like it's just fine. So it's just a bit too laggy, a bit laggy in my uh, text editor for some reason. Not sure why exactly. Okay, so we can just command this line out. So I couldn't actually uh, remove this completely, but as far as this is a tutorial, I'll, I'll leave this, uh, I'll leave the entire code just to make sure that actually uh, uh, Hitchem or whoever will be studying uh, using, using this materials, uh, so they would be able to understand all the uh, steps being involved during creating this uh, scraper. So now we need to read HTML uh, uh, file local local and uh, well first we need to create a local HTML content variable that would be equals so content equals it would be an empty string for a while and here we say with open and rest.html we want to read the file string as file and say for line in f.read and here we say content plus equals line like this and uh, here we say now we need to initialize scrape selector to extract the data uh, to debug the data extraction logic so I, i'm using the response variable uh, which is similar to this one just to remove this to command out this code later on and all the data extraction logic below that i would create just right in a moment would work appropriately so let me just show you that so i say selector and text would be equal to content actually and let me just try to print our response to make sure that selector has been initialized correctly and everything works just fine also we need to uh, 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 disable the crawler at the moment and in here this uh, we say like debug data extraction logic and here we can simply say like let's call Qatar living copy so we s we're simply calling the parse method of the Qatar living site providing the Qatar living uh, class instance and taking the response object with the empty string so we're not using this one but we, we but we're using this one instead and now if I run this again scraper won't be the crawler won't be invoked really but we just uh, uh, invoke the path method and we see the selector being initialized uh, correctly so from now on we can actually start defining our data extraction logic so here i say data extraction logic and i want to query I, I used to call uh, this uh, python dictionary uh, features so uh, like uh, all the data all the features basically to extract from from the given site and in order to pretty print the features i'm using the json dumps uh, method that allows us to pretty print Python dictionaries with the indentation. So I say JSON dumps and features and specify indentation equals to two spaces. For now it's empty, so nothing to be displayed, but from now on we'll start defining our data extraction logic. 
so now let me just open uh, mail again to not to miss any uh, features basically but let's start with so what is this seems like to be a title right so let's start with a title also uh, uh, oh my god I, I forgot the guy's name again Hitchum apparently well uh, I'll see yeah Hitchum oh already answer, answered something well my number coming in a video for you so uh, okay let me let me just uh, with distraction if you try to hide my name this video <laughs> I'm thankful for your respect sir man I'm sorry I'm really sorry but <laughs> uh, okay guys you, you didn't see his name so just you didn't see his name uh, uh, yeah like mm, I'm deeply grateful for what you've done for me one thing is certain I will never forget thank you so much well you're welcome man I I'm really sorry but I guess nobody really cares about your name, man. So just, just yeah. Uh, I'm really sorry, but <laughs> yeah. If if you if you say this before, I I, I uh, for sure I won't show in your name. But I'm really sorry for this. Okay, so uh, let me just have a look at uh, the features. Uh, uh, the features he asked me to extract from there. Okay, so let's okay type price. What is type? I'm just wondering what what does he mean by saying type? Uh, okay, this is type apartment, blah blah blah. So this this is considered to be a type. Okay, but first I guess we need to um, well yeah before actually extracting the features we need to uh, find all the cards yeah so card details this one so card details so get uh, okay so i just want to i want to find the parent element basically so okay look i get i guess this one should be just fine so let me try to copy okay so before actually yeah before actually extracting our features mm, we need to look for properly cards and here we say uh, for card in and res.css here I'm making use of CSS selectors so we're looking for the div element of this particular class and let's first try to print card get just to make sure we get many selectors okay also our features would be uh, just right over in here okay so let's try uh, to see okay seems seems to be just perfect I guess we'll see okay so let's start with the type so type would be equal to and this one so within this div we should have uh, we should find okay this is the second div okay okay so here it is uh, P class and so on so just grab the entire stuff the entire selector and we try to look like saying card dot css so we're looking for the css selectors recursively within the card element here we're looking for the div and we need to specify the class equals to all the stuff available over there okay and um sorry just get but before that we need to specify what in particular we need we need actually text okay so now I hope to see okay so it doesn't extract this for some reason okay mm, oh sorry uh, doesn't seem to extract the type this is strange but yeah let's actually find out what's wrong here so oh it's not div I'm uh, sorry, it's p tag. Now this should work. Okay, great. So now we've just extract, extracted the types. I'm not sure why he didn't extract the types out of the, this first. Uh, maybe these are... I um, uh, have a couple of ideas. Maybe uh, these three are, are over here. So let me just... Or... Hold on a sec. I just uh, I'm just wondering. So this card details span span. Uh, 
yeah probably I did select uh, I did use slightly wrong selector here so um, card feature label but we were looking for card details oh this is it okay okay so yeah let's actually uh, specify the selector a bit more precisely so I just uh, at the moment we're scraping the data from from these guys as well which which is not the case we need to scrape on only this ones basically because this is just the featured properties which which are available here as well so uh, just need to specify this selector slightly a bit more precise so let's go for some sort of a mm, uh, parent element so span of this type copy now, now, I, sh now I think this should work just better so span and class like this save I'm not sure but this this should work great so apart uh, apartment old L Ganim or what is this sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong uh, is this the page not page one uh, I'm not sure why exactly so well maybe the response is slightly different but well and nevertheless it seems it seems to be just just kind of fine there okay so what else we have um, let's just try to look to search for the given uh, type on the page uh, I'm not sure so maybe I'm just uh, seeing the wrong page and maybe that's the reason why it happens so the, the response HTML is not exactly uh, probably not exactly the one uh, mm, that I see on the screen at the moment let me just quickly check that this is even even more different basically uh, so well what's the very first uh, okay if I just okay hold on a sec guys well uh, even though it seems like I found the exact page uh, page number like the page zero which stands for the very first page still uh, it's not the same results for some reason well probably because of cookies or well, I don't know why exactly but I think well as far as this is the tutorial so it doesn't really matter that much so um, let's actually keep moving with uh, extracting the features so the second feature to consider after after the type would be okay price well let's let's first uh, go for address and description so uh, where is the address so this is the address okay no it's not the address hold on a sec where is the address mm. oh four minutes ago oh I see what's wrong here that's because they've already added a new properties so I, I get outdated HTML response okay guys that's okay apartment old El Ganim this is this is one where I started so this is it okay so they just <laughs> they've just added three new pro uh, two more properties great okay so uh, get done with this so this is just just okay I'm really wondering where can we get the address uh, uh, apartment maybe maybe this stuff considered to be the address I'm not really sure but let me just try to uh, uh, view the page source and look for the address uh, maybe uh, okay so Free bin length. Uh, sorry, I, I can't read this really, but it, it's probably it's considered to be the address. So in this case, in this case, we can do uh, a quite easy thing, easy trick here. So we just uh, copy the selector, copy, and here we will also say split. And as far as uh, we have this, uh, yeah, the comma value. So split by comma and 
using the verb first uh, element with the index of zero so this should give us only the kind of apartment right and if we just uh, here we specify the address and use uh, literally the same selector but af after so well, let's actually split by comma followed by the uh, by the space and here split again comma uh, followed by the space but we need the very last element and this should be the address respectively so uh, let's have a look forgot to put a comma okay okay well seems like seems like the address has been extracted as well okay perfect now uh, let's move on, on basically so the price mm. Let's inspect the price. I hope this is the textual data, not... Okay, so we have div class B card. So we will basically extract all the uh, text recursively from, from this uh, class. So uh, price. Okay, so also probably I would need to um, order put, put this features in order to make it exactly uh, as it was in the request uh in the email so okay cards css we're looking for the div and class equals to this stuff okay and oh we we, we could have okay let's let's keep this format no, no, regardless okay and we're looking for all the text uh, in the, the child elements, this this notation here, so text, and here we need to say get all, so it should return us a list. So let's have a look. Should return us a list, but okay, for some reason it doesn't. Uh, okay, maybe I did not pick up the wrong selector. Div class. Oh, maybe really should have put oh my god do you really mean this space is needed <laughs> I, i'm seeing this at the very first time in my life guys well <laughs> really cool so now let's actually um, trying to join uh these elements using the empty space and save run and let's try to replace all the new lines replace all the new lines by nothing and strip as well okay what uh oh i'm sorry so not like this but like this yeah because we need to replace and split the string, not the list. Great. So now we have our prices uh, quite pretty nicely displayed uh, in our data set. Okay. So uh, again, like so, he said type price address. So uh, let's put the price just before the address. So in CSV, it would be uh, placed accordingly. And now let's go to type price address description. So description and uh, here it is basically. So I guess this is the description, right? So let's inspect this one. Uh, okay, card description copy. And is this within the only span? No, it also has some nested data. So we'll go absolutely the same way as seeing car.css. And was it a p tag? I guess class equals to this stuff. And find the text in all uh, the child elements recursively and get all. So let's check this out quickly okay and we simply need to so here i guess by simply join joining with the empty uh, string this will do the trick i hope okay so 
save and okay yeah seems seems like the description is now being extracted just fine okay and also uh also what else do we need here okay bathrooms and bedrooms apparently i guess so okay number of bedrooms number of uh bathrooms so let's keep the uh well i don't i don't like this feature name so i just call this bedrooms and bathrooms respectively so uh bedrooms and bathrooms so let's have a look at the bedrooms uh this is it basically right seems like a bathroom bath and this seems like a shower okay so these are the bedrooms and these are the bathrooms i guess so let's inspect this guy and Dave glass feature bedroom okay we'll make use of this one copy so i can simply say like card.css div and class equal oh sorry equals uh, need to use the quotes here obviously and is this is this uh, what is okay oh maybe maybe i should have make use of this one instead copy so paragraph yeah probably that would be the better way of doing things so paste and text oh it's not a div it's a paragraph so p and oops we want to get one save and okay one two 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 uh well let's try to, to check that out so bedrooms one one so this one this one bedroom studio one one studio okay and here one okay these are the new ones alien hmm. i'm not sure uh so uh i need to check this out so okay apartment vec vec i'm oh, sorry can't read this uh Apartment old Elganim. Apartment old Elganim. One BHK rent. One bedroom. Correct. Apartment El Hilal. Oh, that's probably yeah. So maybe some ordering or or something. So yeah, this is the different. Uh, okay, just is here a studio? I'm wondering. Yeah, studio. Okay. So, yeah, th th this seems to be like possible, basically. Uh, okay. So, well, the data is updated, so uh, I can't really compare that. But, but seems like yeah, as far as uh, the bathrooms can be studio, right? So, if this is this studio here, then literally that's the bedrooms. Okay. And now we also need to scrape the bathrooms as well. So let's consider. Uh, to inspect them as well so so it, it would be just kind of the same but the selector is going to be slightly different so I simply say card.css and p and class and extract the text please and dot get okay okay now we have the bathrooms as well hold on a sec hold on a sec it's duplicating for some reason can be so oh probably uh, i guess i understand what's what's kind of wrong here so uh yeah i need to enclose them within the divs so copy yeah so I need to specify a couple more, uh, not a couple more, but one more basically, CSS, 
div and class. Okay. Well, I guess now this should uh, still not that. Okay. Okay. Now it's studio. Now it's one bathroom. Okay. Uh, div class feature bathroom bathroom not small okay and also let's consider this one copy yeah so sometimes you need to specify the parent tag to extract the data correctly uh, yeah especially with the CSS selectors it's really important so div and class like this okay well now now I think this should be just just fine studio okay here three three studio well okay so now this is just fine okay let's move on so what else do we need here number of bedrooms number of age uh, number of bathrooms agency name number of agency well I still don't understand number of agency but let's try to extract agency name here so um, this is it right so inspect mm, he didn't ask for agency link we could have made that as well basically so h reference agency title no not not it not in here i guess uh okay this card agency copy and we'll, we'll be looking for that recursively so uh, here we say agency or agency name and card.css and uh, div I guess right uh, class this stuff here and then we need to uh, look recursively to look for uh, mm, within this card agency for a tag but uh, about an hour go by or we can actually try to extract all the text out of it right and just separate this by by Uh, yeah, I guess this might be just well, or or hold on a sec. Can we just make it like this? A A text. Uh, whoa! So like, oh, we need to get. I'm sorry. Obviously, we need to get this. Property Expo, Property Expo, X, uh, Donna, uh huh, okay. Himaka Real Estate, yeah, seems like, seems like it's been extracted correctly. And also, we can provide the agency link. Well, uh, even though I wasn't asked for that, but uh, I can just provide that because, so uh, if you don't want this uh, agency link, uh, we can just command that out basically because well, kind of, that's kind of no, no need for that for that so I say here a uh, or maybe even like better just to, to use it over here so attribute each reference let me just quickly check that okay user property expo and mm, let me just open this in a new tab so to make sure what exactly to attach to okay so I just need to attach this copy and here I can simply say uh, so this link plus and this is it right and if, if for some reason this won't be available we need also to stringify so to make sure if any errors would work as 
well. Okay. And don't need this slash. And now just let's just try to uh, take one copy and to see if the link works actually. So paste. Okay, it works. Perfect. Okay, so uh, agency image URL. So the number of agency, yeah, image URL, just right in a minute. Uh, but I'm just wondering regarding this uh, number of agencies. I'm really not sure what do they mean by saying the number of agencies. So I don't know, number of. Agencies not not available. Okay, agencies. Agency. Well, I can't see any number of agencies here. So it seems like the only agency uh, per the advertisement. So I'm not really sure what exactly uh, that main number of agencies. So. Uh, Please let me know in the commentaries if some somebody knows what's what was what was it about what was it, what was all it about uh, regarding number of agency. Maybe it's some sort of uh, agency, agency specific number, some sort of uh, identifier. I don't know. So, is there is there some uh, apartment well no this is the property the, the no this is the link for for the property I guess so mm, this is the a agency image well well I, I I don't understand what's that all about okay so the very last thing well um, I don't know how exactly well uh, let's try to grab the image URLs. Well, here we might have, we might have encountered some sort of an issues because uh, I'm wondering about okay, so image URL because I'm wondering about um, um, the image size. So let's consider this image. So uh, if we just uh, use this source and copy and just go in there I guess we'll see oh the image URL is just pretty well well perfect this is just perfect so uh, uh, div class card I'll hit her okay let's write this one so card.css div mm, class and uh, we're looking for the image recursively and the source, right? Are we looking for the image source? Source attribute, okay. So, attribute source. Well, let's have a look. If it will manage to obtain some, okay, I'm sorry, we need to get this. Get, save. Mm. Well, let's try to consider, say, this one, copy, and, okay, perfect. So we, we, we're having the uh, nice, pretty image URLs with a pre pretty okay size. Okay, so basically this is it, I guess. So uh, uh, everything apart from number of agencies, which I have no about, which I have no idea what is this all about with number of agencies. Let me know in the commentaries, please, if, if somebody knows that. Or, uh, well, uh, anyway, I'll leave this as an exercise for you guys to extract, or at very least I can write some uh, selector in the commentaries below if you ask me for the number of agencies provided me. What the hell is that, basically? Okay, so I guess I don't need this email anymore. I don't need this stuff and this. So um, now, oh, okay, I can't. Uh, so, well, now I guess it's time to invoke. Uh, I guess it's time to invoke our 
crawler, so I just command this debugging info here and uncommand the uh, scraper invocation stuff. And mm, also, we don't need this, so from now on, we will be using uh, exactly response.css, but this time this response would come from here, which uh, is the scraper response object. So it also has the built in CSS selectors. So now we'll try to uh, scrape the, uh, the only page and see if it works. And also, mm, here uh, I need to say store output output to CSV and I simply say yield uh, features like this save and I hold my breath and run this again and I hope to see some data being extracted to the CSV file okay so let's have a look okay great uh, so we did uh, sorry my, my mouse is a bit dirty I need to uh, slightly clean this out okay so let's open this uh, in LibreOffice to visually see the table to make sure everything is just fine there. And if it's just kind of okay, I guess we can uh, we can crawl through all uh, all the pages after. Uh, also, I'm tempted to deactivate the uh, limitations regarding concurrent requests and crawling delay because. I don't really want to wait for ages until it uh, actually until it's done. Uh, well, also I just want to provide the CSV file here because as far as this is the real request, I, I guess the CSV might be uh, valuable as well. Well, so it seems like everything works just pretty pretty well. So we have type, price, address, description, bathrooms, bedrooms, bathrooms, agency name and image your agency link as well yeah and uh image URL. well this this seems to be pretty nice so okay so let me just delete this because it would be on the same data each time so delete delete okay and mm, i'm just wondering okay so get rid of this break statement now we're supposed to be crawling over all the pages uh, okay so let me first just try to check uh, test this uh, uh, custom settings so if it would be slow as hell that that means that everything works as expected and then I will just try to uh, so it need to wait for 10 seconds okay yeah seems like it, it will happen it's happening right okay okay perfect so let me check this again okay now we have more data okay guys and now uh, I'll do something that I highly discourage you to do but you know like as far as this is the video tutorial and I don't have that much time uh, I will low myself doing that so I'll just command command this lines out and now we'll go on the jet speed well, I, I can end up getting banned by this site, but I don't really care much about that because, you know, like, uh, the scraper is already just kind of working, it's just kind of fine. So, I'll try to crawl through all the pages without any limitations regarding concurrent requests and speed and see what happens, basically. So, if it does allow me this, well, it, I might get blocked, though, but, well, or maybe even... Well, this is this is this is pretty strange because you know, like, it seems like he uh, doesn't allow to do this faster, really. Mm. Yeah, this is interesting. So yeah, probably the site has some limitations, so it doesn't it doesn't allow you to crawl it that fast. So we have the page number two. Page number two again. Oh, that was the referee, I guess. So yeah, uh, uh, this is very interesting. I see like mm, it, <laughs> the crawling speed is defined by the server. Well, uh, to be honest, uh, I see this for the first time and it's a little bit strange, but 
you know, like, yeah, mm -hmm. this is interesting. So, yeah, uh, these lines, they th doesn't matter that much, actually. So let's have a look at how many data has been already scraped. So well, much more at the moment. Okay, guys, so uh, I will probably wait until this script uh, ends, uh, uh, until it's done, basically. So we can just hide it away. Uh, and I guess this is it from my side regarding this sort of a tutorial. So I hope you've learned something interesting out of it and uh i'll definitely i'll share the source code with you guys so feel free to use it it might have threw some exceptions uh, uh i uh, i guess sometimes it happens well in that case uh, you can just uh try accept the conditions for every selector here below the feature extraction logic but that's all those uh those tiny little details are are, are always kind of different in different uh situations so i just did provide the the basic uh, the basic stuff to consider here so um, i wish you all the best guys and until next time and take care